Where are these guys? Yep, see there's keys on the walls around here everywhere. So you're gonna need to take care of that, I guess. Damn, I'm low on health, actually, kind of. Alright, so there's a keys over there flying around. Let's see if we can get them. Freaking keys. Stop moving! There we go. Got you. Okay, keys anywhere. Um. Oh, I think I see. Yeah, there's one. No, just too, a bit too high there. Now that's too low. That's just right. Good job. All right, anything else? No, that's the last of the keys. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. And ooh, gold sculptula. I love it. Let's kill you. I don't know why I didn't use my hook shot, but it's too late now. There's no going back. Let's grab that. Da -da -da. Right, and there's a chest that is mysteriously off-center here. The blue rupee in it for some reason. But there's also another hidden chest right here. Which contains... Arrows, wow. What was the point of this room? Just restock? Oh, the sculpture, that's it, that's it. That's the point of this room, and that's a very good reason for this room. Okay. So, I guess we're gonna work our way back here now. Yep. I don't even think I need the hover boots to go across these platforms. I think it was just an extra safety precaution. That looks so weird, hanging on to thin air like that. Whatever. And, oh god, the Stalfos, you came back! You dude, get out of here. Get out of here, I'm gonna kill you. Ha, ah, I killed you. You should've just committed suicide like last time. Oh, this thing, I hate this thing so much. You're gonna need your hover boots to get this. Okay, so it's gonna go way up there and then fall. And once it's at the bottom like that, that's when you wanna move, otherwise you won't make it. And then, you're gonna have to walk when it's pretty much near the top, like that. It's not too bad if you keep your wits about you, but if you go too early or too late or whatever, you can really get screwed over. And, okay. So let's kill the Beemos here. Nice, because there's a silver rupee underneath it. That's cool, I suppose. Let's go up here. Ah, uh, man, last silver rupee. Must get. Yay, I didn't get hit with any of the spinning blade thingies. I'm so awesome. Alright, in here there is more shit, I guess. Random wooden plank here. Oh, this room. This can be annoying. Okay, what's this sign say? Only one with the eye of truth will find a stone umbrella that protects you from the rain of blades. What? Stone umbrella? That's retarded. But actually, they're talking about this thing right here. This is the stone umbrella. A pullable block. And basically, yeah, it kind of is like a stone umbrella against those spikes. Because you want to push it ahead of you. And it will block the spikes from hitting you as you progress through the room. So that is very useful. Because if you didn't have this, then you would not be able to get through the room, really. Alright, so you want to push this to a point that is, like, between these two spiky things so that's blocking both of them. Kind of like that. Uh, anything over here? Just check it out. Um, doesn't look like it. Just some bombs. That's nice. Any magic or anything? Oh, heart. I'll take it. Okay, so yeah, once it's like this and it's blocking both of them, go on the other side here and start pulling it. Because if you keep pushing it from that side, then once it's out of the way of the first one there, the first one's going to come down and hit you as you're pushing it. So you have to be a little bit clever there, in that respective. And we're almost at the end here. Alright, nice. So we made it. And I think it'll, yeah, I'll just keep blocking that one. Oh look, it's a sculptula just hiding in plain sight. I don't know if there's a hole in the floor there or anything, but so I'm not going to risk it. Um... Maybe there's a chest or something, I don't know. Nope, nothing. Wow. There's no trick to that sculpture whatsoever, just sitting there. Okay. Alright, any hidden chests, anything here? Um, let's cross over on this thing. I suppose. And, oh, a chest, look at that. How lovely. It contains a blue rupee. What's with all these chests containing blue rupees? I don't need blue rupees, man. Okay, and that creates a chest over there. Let's hookshot to it. Because we don't want to go all crazy jumping style on everything, do we? Nah. Alright, open it. And... Small key. Sweet. 
That's exactly what we're looking for, I assume. Alright. Um, I'm gonna try and work- Oh god. Ouch. That hurt. You bastard. Yeah, there's a chest over here I saw on my map, so let's pick this up. I don't know why I didn't pick it up earlier, but... No, oh, it's just arrows anyways. Doesn't. It's not like it matters. Alright, let's see if we can make it past this thing. Go, 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 go! Even though I walked right through one of the spikes, I saw that, Link. You must have amazing Jesus powers. You're so awesome. And, yep. So we come back in here. And basically, where are you supposed to go from here? You're supposed to go along this area. To over to the guillotine. And this part can be a little bit tricky. But, just like pretty much every other tricky part in a Zelda game, if you keep your wits about you, you will do fine. So, set the lens of truth here, and you'll see that there's platforms beyond this. And there's a moving platform here, so you're definitely going to need your lens of truth for this. And a locked door. So, that's what the key we got is for, I suppose. Well, duh. What else would a key be for, man? Alright. And, uh, you're probably going to want to keep your, uh, boots on in this room, because that is going to see there's hidden, there's like spikes here and the cool thing is if you walk over the spikes with the boots on you actually won't get hurt when you walk over them that's kind of cool and oh, I couldn't get that couldn't walk up to it but I can just hook shot to it so that's all. that's fine all right so as long as you just keep walking when oh god that's creepy didn't even realize you were over there must kill I said must kill thank you and there's another readout over there I see um, oh god. Let's see if I can stun it with my hook shot. Yep, there we go. I remember you could do that. That's sweet. Chest appears over there. Why can't it have just been hidden and then the three deads are like optional or something? Whatever. It's not my game. I should stop bitching about it. Okay. Oh, blue rupee. God damn it. It's pissing me off now. Alright. So I, I believe that hook shot target there is hidden. So, if you don't have your lens of truth on, then you won't be able to reach it. Or see it, I mean. You'll still be able to hit it, but you won't be able to, like, uh, see it. So it'll be hard, much harder to hit it. And last silver rupee. Sweet. And I guess just progress further into the room. Yay. Uh, hidden hookshot target up there, maybe? Yep. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna take off these frick. There's a key I missed. I missed a key. God damn it, I have to go find a key. Okay, let me check my map. Let's check the map. Okay, um... Okay... Where did I miss a key? What? What? It's not a hidden chest. Oh, I see. I see. I'm such a dumbass. Look at me. I'm like, where's the key? Where's the key? There's just a random door over here that I haven't gone in yet. Meh. Okay, let's take off these freaking boots because they're starting to annoy me with their lack of traction. Anyways, behind here, there's a skull And I'm using my hook shot, even though it's clearly that it's very clear that I could just get it by hitting it with my sword or whatever. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Climb up here, I guess. We're just looking for a key. Hopefully we'll find one in this room, otherwise I'm royal- Ah! God damn it, you scared me! Jesus, scary enough that I'm doing the Shadow Temple, and then you have to come along and do that. Holy shit, man. Why are the keys always so symmetrical in the rooms? There's like one on one side of the room, and one on the exact same spot, except the other side of the room. And another fire keys over there I see. Throw a bomb in here. Basically like the Goron statue, except this one just blows up. And it releases a key there. How lovely. Isn't you lovely? Alright, now uh, I think I have to kill the last keys in order to leave. So let's see if I can get you. Can I get you? I get you. I got you. Yes, I got him. Wow. I'm so awesome. And that uh, lets me leave. Thank you. Do I have to recollect all the silver rupees? Thank God. Alright, let's see if I can hit this hookshot target without even seeing it. No, that's one, one try too many. I was a little bit off. Not too bad. Alright, and into here. Geez, only 25 minutes so far. We're doing pretty good. 
Okay, oh, very slow moving things. Oh my god. Oh shit. There's a fan there. So we're gonna have to use our other boots, it looks like, our iron boots, to walk against the fan. Yeah, this is where the boot the like the boot puzzles start coming in, where you have to use like different sets of sets of boots to progress. You could also just wait for that fan to stop blowing, but that would be annoying. So I'm not gonna do that. Alright. Just keep on walking. Keep on trucking, yeah. Alright, this one can be a little bit hard. Keep on your iron boots and watch that fan. And when it starts to slow down a little bit, uh, just like that, you're going to want to switch your boots to your hover boots. And then you're going to walk across and work your way over here before the fan starts blowing again. How lovely. And look at that. There is, There are more fans in this room, so walk through it with your iron boots. And you can see like a uh, eye switch up there, but you can don't hit that with your arrows. It's not worth worth it because it's actually an enemy. It shoots out fire just like that right into the camera. Thank you. Okay. Open the door, and in here there are more uh, redeads. Okay. Wow, I move so slow when you're spin attacking with iron boots on. Nice. See, that's what I was trying to do in earlier in the room with those two like. Uh, mummy things. I forget what they're. I forget what they're actually called. They're not actually called mummies, but I don't know. Something starts starting with a G or something. Here, I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Those who have the sacred feet should let the wind guide them. Then they will be led to the hidden path. That's what they're saying. All right. Yep. So basically, it's telling you that if you use your hover boots in the room that we just passed through. At a certain point, you will be able to access a neat little area. Basically, it's you want to stand in front of this fan and catch fire, I suppose, if you want. Put on your hover boots and run over to here. Because if, if you use your lens of truth, you'll see that the wall is broken there. Or, it's an invisible wall, rather. Alright, and move on. Are we in the room I think we are? Oh, this room. This room can be... This room can screw you over a little bit. Alright, so first thing you want to do is turn to your right and put a bomb right here on the sludge pile. And watch it go BOOM! Don't forget to do this now. And you see there's nothing there, it looks like, but you use the lens of truth, and yeah. So not only do they put a... This, and this is a key, too. Not only do they put a key under a thing that you would not really think of bombing or anything, but they make it an invisible chest, too. Let's see if I can do this right this time. Gotcha. Sweet. And, oh, another chest appears. How lovely. My throat's starting to hurt a little bit. Maybe I should stop, start talking less. And I just had pot fly at me. I love it when pot flies at me. Blue Ruby Grr! Damn it. That's starting to piss me off. Okay, no more chests in, chests in this room. Yeah, thankfully, they, like, they don't make you go far and then ha make you have that key. It's just, like, that key, the hidden key is just used right there, so it's not bad. And here we are in this room. There's a random boat here, and there's a cage over there. If you remember back that when, um, that thing was, like, if you want to see a fairy to the underworld or whatever come here, if you went cl too close to him and fell in the hole, you would fall into that cage and be able to see this boat, but not reach it. And if you move this block, then it'll actually create a shortcut for you it would, when, if you need to come back to the Shadow Temple again, which hopefully we won't. But you can just, like, fall down into that hole and, um, and you can just go through, or skip a massive, a massive portion of the temple. Yep. And I guess we're just gonna switch over here so that we don't get crushed between the block and the wall. That would suck. And, oh yeah, we're gonna need our ocarina in this room. Yep. I just remember that. To get a sculpture, as a matter of fact. Alright. Getting close to 30 minutes there. This is gonna be the end of the second episode, pretty much, I guess. No signing out, though. I have to remind myself of that. Stop looking at the timer, dude. You don't need to look at the timer. It'll be done when it's done.